What's up guys, Scott Protagonist here, and today we'll be doing a budget Vanguard Zero deck profile on Nova Grappler Blouse. These Gundams are the best deck to pilot for newer players because they do not have any triple rare and they are extremely powerful. Not only they have a very good chainwright engine, they also have a very powerful resender, which is kind of like a Dragonic Overlord the end, and I really really like the design of the cards. Overall, it's a really cheap deck, as you guys can see from my deck list over here. I do not have any triple rares and very minimal um, double rares, which will be the Blau, the boss monster itself which is very easy to craft and very easy to pull from the new set as well as the perfect guards which you can get through rank every season so it is a very very easy deck to farm and I also used this deck earlier in my legend rank in order to climb and this is a very, very powerful deck and Blau has been one of those decks that a lot of uh, players have been climbing when they do have perfect rises even though Blau's do not have the inbuilt crit and high power they do make it up with their powerful chain right which improves the deck consistency and make it overall more consistent than rises in my opinion so uh, I really really like this deck and uh, this is a perfect deck to introduce to any new player in the, in the game because um, you don't need any triple rares to craft and if you do have any triple rares you can always re uh, replace them with some of the other non primary units such as the Gold House or the Lion Hit and improve the deck overall. So this is a deck that can grow with the fighter, which is what I really like about this deck. So let's quickly go through the deck profile and explain why this deck is so good. So first of all, our first Vanguard will be a Blau Vanguard. It's most very, very important to have a Blau Vanguard because it allows you to pull off the ability to get your Great 2 whenever you write the Great 1 version of it. All of the designs of these cards are simply amazing. I really like them. Uh, Bash is basically like uh, Gundams. Yeah, they look really cool. So for example, this Great 1, when you write above the Great Zero, the Great Zero triggers ability to search out your Great 2. And this Great 1 also search out your Great 3. When this card is placed, you can discard like, another Great 3 from your hand and add a Sternbrow Cougar into your hand. So very important to play for because um, definitely riding this on top of your starter guarantees you your Great 2, right? And a plus 1 because you add the card from your hand. So basically you team your deck uh, for more triggers and get a plus 1. Really good. Um, one of the MVPs in this deck is definitely the Toolkit Boy. Whenever you boost your Sunblow Google and it hits, you basically will be counter blasting too. So basically, the Toolkit Boy helps you reduce the cost, and it's really good because um, also Blau resends both units. So Toolkit Boy will resend again, and it basically makes the cost come blast one instead of come blast two. Really, really good. So as an MVP, you gotta play four of him. And fortunately, this is common, so it's very very easy to craft. There's no excuse. So let's go on to Great Tools. We play one copy. Of uh, Trans Riser, you could mix this up, mix it up if you have a double rare like Kirara, or if you want to play the Long K Beat Stick, it's fine. One thing to note that is very important is your rear guards are in charge of getting rid of your opponent's rear guards and leave the center line for your Vanguard because this deck does have problem if your opponent does have a lot of intercepts and you have to have your rear guards ready to clear off those intercepts so they can punch through with your Vanguard. Very important. And so I do play one copy of Trans right um, Trans Riser because he allows you to fetch one card from the top deck uh, depending on your luck. And it's basically a budget card, it's a rare card. If you have those Genocide Jacks, Kirara, do throw them in, but in this deck profile, it's a budget deck. We play uh, 4 10k Vanillas, um, it's just there for good big stick, good clearance of the Interceptors. The main goal of this deck is just for Intercepts to clear their Intercepts and then punch through the Vanguard. And that's such a simple strategy, but yet so effective because it resends the Vanguard. Alright, um, the Great 2 version of Blouse. It has a very um, weird ability as well. It has a Vanguard ability when attack hits counter charge 1. It just helps you give you a bit of counter charging in the early game, which I don't really see a point unless you're playing um, the Genocide Jax. But however, I still find it's um, mostly used as the chain right target. And also, if a Blau Panzer in the soul, it becomes a 10k base. Really solid because it does hit 10k and escape a lot of the um, dodgy 9ks. One of my favorite cards is the 12k Eisen Kugel. If a Vanguard is not a Blau, basically it gets a minus 5k, very weak 7k, similar to Lava Arm Dragon. It's basically a 7k base um, without the Blau chain right. So fortunately, this deck is super, super consistent since you'll be able to search out a great tree. And so this won't be a problem and it's a 12k beat stick and your opponent must have a unit that's above 12k to kill it. Very, very good. Your opponent can't solo this guy easily. He has to be boosted to kill in order to kill this interceptor. One of the best. Now, four copies of the heal triggers. Um, the reason why I play this guy is because he does hit the 13k just in case your opponent's at uh, 11k. You just count last one and you can uh, swing through and clear their regards, uh, especially against um, mirror match. You want to have something that can punch through and yeah the counter counter blast is kind of worth it because you want to just get rid of the 12k without boosting sometimes you do not join the boosters so this does help four copies of gold Rutal just in case you do not you fail to write you really really don't want to write anything else and i think gold Rutal plays a really good part you could also play um captain invisible or Mis mr invisible i'm sorry <laughs> yeah mr invisible um because you don't really use counter blast other than that so mr invisible is also a good backup right but i personally really like gold Rutal, so Try uh, Mr. Invisible, it's also a pretty easy to cut to get. And one copy of Lion Hit is basically a Go Rutal that's slightly weaker. And four copies of the boss monster, the Blau Cougar. It looks so awesome. Look at the 
the laser jets just blazing up from its wings. So if Blau Cougar is in the soul, the, the Grade 2 is a 11k bang, base vanguard. Really, really good in, in the fact that um, most now it's a 11k meta and if you are 10k, it's so easy to get destroyed by Toms. And being 11k does sometimes help you escape from Toms because of the fact that um, Toms must be boosted by Gemini in order to hit you for second hit. And when this unit attack hits the vanguard, come blast 2 and discard 2 cards from hand and stand all of your units in the center column and draw a card, okay? Draw a card as well. So basically, you're not uh, discarding total two, you're basically like discarding two, two, discarding one in overall to get a free stand, which is another drive track. And if you check the draw trigger, you basically get it back. But it loses two in drive until the end of the turn. Uh, pretty fair because Dragonic Overlord does not even do a drive track. And so far, this is the only re-standing Vanguard that can keep the Vanguard in the game right now, okay? Uh, this is one of the, my fav the favorite units in the game because it is a Dragonic Overlord DN before the end comes out. So if you want to get uh, get some practice for the end, this boy is a really good card to practice. It's quite similar because it's Hound Blast 2 and discard cards to resend and resends the back row as well. So to keep boy, we can resend and help you counter charge. So without further ado, let's jump into rank and try this deck out. So we're fighting against Kamui, a very common matchup in Legend. So currently I'm in Legend 30 and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Most likely gonna be perfect rises. Um, so in this uh, so in this opening hand, very very important to call it pull your grid one. Actually not really important grid one, your the most important actually this guy. You could actually keep two kit boy if you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the two kit boy because um the most important chain is your grid two and grid three. And even if I don't chain right, it's alright. Probably gonna ride the um tough boy. It's a perfect riser deck. Interesting. So it's okay, we still have a draw 2 to help us uh, hopefully pull the grid 1. So this is a uh, grid test, a budget deck versus a perfect riser deck. Come on, blouse. Let's show them what you got. Oh yeah, very nice hand. So we get to draw our blouse. The grid 1 blouse is out for a grid 2, a plus 1. And we have an 8k base, really good. And also, also against Nova Grapplers, you do not need to worry and just can, you can call it 2 kit boy because they don't have any way to retire your stuff. So in a way, you can just call it early just in case, I don't know, you want to rush. But in this deck, I would not recommend you to rush too much. Because you want to maintain your hand size so that you... Most of all, is you've got to get rid of their intercepts for your blouses, your blau um, vanguard to punch through. But the reason why I call it a two kit boy just in case I check too many um, crit uh, draws on the damage trigger, I won't overclock my hand. So that's why I uh, call the, the this unit down. You could actually call the tough boy down as well. Don't need to worry about retiring. But I think six is a healthy hand size too. Yeah, unfortunately, he checks a trigger and shuffle it back. He won't be able. He will whiff this one unless he. He will check the trigger. You whiff. So pretty lucky for me. So my only chance riser goes there. Set boy. We've got a lot of great trees on our hand. But it's okay. We were right. No. We could deal him an additional damage. This is, that is what I'm actually gonna do. So battle. I will probably play this just to get check, check a stand trigger. Make me think I play stand. But obviously you know that doesn't play stand. And always attack your Vanguard to the Vanguard because your Vanguard you got a chance to go a counter charge just in case you use your Kira Rust earlier. Gets a draw trigger. Huge. A lot of great trees. But fortunately I can cycle them off using uh, Blouse ability to just discard them. So not really a problem. I don't need to draw some perfect guys or I'm just gonna get Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> bruh. That's a bruh moment, but um... Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. They have really bad luck, I think. Um, yeah, that's the problem with Razors. They have a bit of consistency issue. Like, if I do not have the great one to search, I would probably end up like that. So I'm not gonna laugh at him. Because, um, you know, Nova Brothers. Okay, I, I'm not really a Nova main, but... You know, you know what I mean, okay? Get a stand trigger. Mm, you might whiff. I think it's whiffing. Unless he checks the double trigger. Draw trigger, huge, but it's a heal trigger, so not exactly the coolest. 
So it's right back to the riser. I think he might have to uh, disregard the plan. Oh, he can, he can still get because he still has the two risers to count on. So what we're gonna do is we gotta call this here. This is actually the better unit since he actually does have an ability to uh, plow through 11k base solo. Actually, I do not need to do that. I can just push this front and swing. Because most of the time, after you you are done with your plow, right? Uh, none of your units can hit. So I'm actually do that. I want to because I can't even intercept any side. I want to keep my hand size. So I'm just gonna call this up to clear intercepts. Once you clear intercepts, your vanguard is ready to punch through. That's the winning image of the deck. Okay, now right, we need to not try not to check a heal trigger. I I know it sounds stupid, but we don't want to check a heal trigger. Do that. Draw trigger the absolute um, best trigger to check now. So power to the vanguard and prepare to withstand the vanguard. Very, very awesome. He gets a stand trigger, giving the uh, ability to defend himself. But it's okay. Prepare launch. Draw the. So fortunately, we can still hit one more time. If we check another trigger, we can hit one more time. That's the magic of the deck. Yo! Nice shoe, nice shoe! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, this is the feeling of playing the deck. Oh no, he checked the trigger. Yikes, dude, this guy's like... Okay. You know what we do? We will luck side one more time. Let's get it! <laughs> oh god, this deck is a... This is getting, makes me feel like a wow man when I play. Come on, boys! We can do this! Let's hit another trigger! Ikuzo! Trigger! No. <laughs> it's okay. It went too far. <laughs> Yeah, you can see how exciting this deck is. Oh boy. If he didn't check that damage trigger, oh boy, this thing is not gonna this this thing is not gonna stop for sure. Wait. I wish I don't have enough home plus. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. But you know what I mean? This deck is un it's it stands so many times, it's crazy. Even overlock requires you to a uh, persona blast, but this one doesn't require you. He has to write this because he wants the base, I guess. Because he, uh, he can't solo. His hand is absolutely, absolutely terrible. Uh, one, one problem of uh, risers, in my opinion. So he solos with the... And as you guys can see, my hand used to be a full trigger hand, but I managed to cycle them off and get a, a healthy hand for myself. Very good. So, wow, perfect guards. Now I have all the perfect guards I need. So you guys, you guys can see this deck actually does turbo for PGs as well. Really good. I'm just gonna call, just gonna call on to keep going. Yeah, I might have discard the PGs, but you know. Since he doesn't have in, in, any intercepts, he's trying to just go out. Uh, gets a draw trigger. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Just omit, omit, omit. Okay. That's what you do. Just omit. Okay, you, of course we put this first. We're gonna charge first. Then we activate the plow. Just got the two cards. I've actually got this on PG, but I think it's totally worth it for an extra resend and a draw. We just gotta keep slamming. I technically could just power the side, but uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, both, both of them can hit. So he does use the PG. Can't hit. So yeah, it stops when you can't hit. PG again. Yep, he does have a couple of PGs. And that's it. Right. That was a that was a blast. Don't gonna lie. It's fun. Basically, yeah, my Blau does make up um, for its power for consistency. So if you want a consistent engine, Blau engine is uh, the way to go. The great one searches out the great tree, really good. So what you're gonna do is he's just gonna clear my rear guards and swing, and probably uh, gamble the stand trigger, which is here already. And also during late game, if you do play Asura Kaiser, it's best better to ride him. Because at this point I won't be able to resend already. But man, the resend fast was fun, bros. The resend was fun. Not gonna lie. So 
the, the right skit. It's not making any magic numbers, so it doesn't really matter. Just in case he writes the quick uh, 11k base. Yeah, so, just solo a bit. So, as you guys can see, um, Blau is actually fun to play. I'm having a blast to play. You guys can see my uh, expression when playing this deck. Ooh, it's so good, yo. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Um, if you'd like to see more deck profiles, the budget ones as well, do let me know. Because I'm trying to think of some decks I can make for budget. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.